going on guys we're back and we have a new part at the time of this video it should be released uh, and they should be in stock on SP's website so on your 11 to 16 your fuel drain valve right so here's your stock one here is the billet one that's come from SP so differences the reason that this was made was first off if you can see in the injection molding there's uh, flaws in it so sometimes as it deteriorates over usage uh, around where the injection molding is it'll allow fuel to seep past the o-rings and leak on the ground um, so that's obviously no good so you could always go out and buy another part um, but this one solves that as well uh, these o-rings are at EDPM EDPM I believe that's how it's pronounced or the acronym for it but it's a soft and these these more than anything do deteriorate these o-rings so it's getting switched to a nitride a 90 durometer o-ring so it's a stiffer pop it if i can pop it off here i can show you i don't know if you'll be able to get a good idea of the difference set these down real quick here so as you can see the finishes now, this one actually is a new o-ring uh, from ford and this is the other one let me just kind of try to apply the same pressure damn it you can feel that this one is much stiffer the idea behind this is it's supposed to be a more durable uh not only to fuel but just usage of taking it in and out uh so it should last longer <clears throat> as that uh lastly the other thing that you get with this uh, is that you have more surface area to grab with your hands. So if you have little bitch mittens for hands, you can really get a good grip on it. Um, but so, yeah, I mean, install is going to be the easiest it's ever been out of any of the products we've ever installed. Uh, you're going to need some shop rags or paper towels and uh, a drain pan. That's pretty much it, but we'll get to installing it. You'll see it's super easy. And uh, I'll let Josh get some close-ups of this before we go to install it. And yeah. All right, guys, so obviously fuel filter housing, crack this loose. Oh, put it in there so it make it now it's just the waiting game, letting it drain out. Once it drains out, we'll get back to you with the rest of this, but yeah. Hold on. This is taking just too long for me to be sitting out in the damn cold here. I don't want all the diesel fuel all over me. Oh, now we got some. I should have. Put all that schmutz in there. Why not let it drain? Maybe there's some water in there. It sits a lot. Okay, I don't care that much. Well, on the install, as you saw with the removal stabber in there, it's been replaced. As you can see, the first air ring's engaging. Well, I mean, there might be a little drip because it was leaking out, but the first air ring is pretty much engaged and there's not really anything coming out, but this is still working. So that's up the spec. Alright guys, so watch your step. The, the uh, creeper. Yeah. So uh, always, as always, when you mess with the fuel system, it wasn't a prime fuel system. A few good times. I'm gonna give it three. But this is the first time actually, this is that was the prototype version, um, the finished prototype. Yeah, so make sure everything. Uh, Come on. Yeah, give her one and a half. She's a beaut. So guys, as always, 
super easy install. I mean, uh, this one will be, if I'm correct, cheaper than the uh, 17 and up fuel drain valve. So if you click the link down below in the description, you'll be able to find the drain valve and any other product you need for your truck on SP's website. It helps channel out if you use the link. So we greatly appreciate that. Also, anything else you'd like to see with the trucks, comment, like, subscribe. As like I said, uh, we try to post a video every week about a new topic. I know some people want some weight reduction stuff. Um, it's coming. Uh, we just gotta wait for some of the parts, the finalized parts to get in. But uh, it will be coming, so stay tuned for that. We'll probably go over a pretty good video of how to get it off. Uh, I've done a few of them, obviously. But, but uh, yeah, we'll get that. Uh, and anything else you wanna see, or any information that you don't know necessarily about, let us know. We'll try to get back to you with the best response we can in the least amount of time possible. So thank you guys, and we'll catch you on the next one.